Assalamu alaikum. So welcome back to PLB Green. Um, look at this monster Schaeffera. Um, this is a dwarf umbrella tree, a Schaeffera, or oh, two of them I think. And it has been a house plant for a good amount of time. Uh, I have no idea how long, but it is an ex house plant, and it was given to me by a friend. And now. I am going to start transitioning it into its life as a bonsai or their lives as bonsai. So today um, I'm going to be taking it out of this gross potting mix soil uh, and repotting it, both of them, and pruning them right back, all the way back. It's going to be extreme prune town, I think. Well, it'll be exciting to see their root bases and See if they have some potential um, in the bonsai world. So, let's do boy. Oh, dude. Step one, remove from pot. Uh, it's not gonna be an easy task. If they come, nah, dude, these are, I might even have to cut the pot off, but. Ooh. Working, making a mess. Still good. All right, feels looser. Come on, Dorothy. That was sick! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Alright, so this next step is gonna be gonna be messy man. So I don't know if the root rake is gonna cut it, so I might start check this out. Douche! This is a uh I don't know, an old garden tool, and I'm gonna try and use this as like a root hook. And I'm gonna try and pull out some most of this soil. Um, oh, rocks in here! Oh, dude, there's bricks in here. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. So that's uh, that's what it was. So let continue. What the? So many prizes. Some juicy roots. So let's go around. I'm gonna make a big mess. And it's actually the soil's quite loose. I thought it was gonna be more root bound than this. It's interesting. Oh, okay. I just tore through that root, but that's okay because I probably get I would have probably cut that root off anyway. Yeah, the soil is much, um, random popsicle stick. Uh, I think I found another brick. What? Jeez! Oh, Not my precious hook. What the fuck, man? Okay. I feel like I'm unearthing some ancient, friggin' some ancient ruin. Most insane. <laughs> oh man. Any more brick surprises? Whoa, that's a thick root down there. Holy dooly. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, some big thick roots. Alright, I might empty this soil and then come back and begin me in again. Whew! <laughs> so you guys aren't going to believe this. Um, I just went and washed the roots off with my hose outside. It was just insane. Too messy and like, 
just I just shook all the rest of the soil off um, because the roots aren't, aren't that compacted in. But check it out. This thing, what I initially thought was two separate dwarf chiflera trees, it's one tree, like two towers. It's insane. So I'm gonna keep it that way. I could split them up, but it's so unique. I wanna keep it as one. I'm gonna try it. But look at this root mass we have to sort through. Um, and obviously we gotta cut this top right back down. So I think I'm gonna work on, I'm just gonna make, do a general trim on the top to start with some of the really big, long outline branches, just so it's more manageable in this space. Um, then I'll work on the roots and then I'll do some fine tuning on the branches. But this is really cool, I'm so excited. All right, all right, all right. Now, the tools I've chosen for this insane job, uh, first things first, magic red scissors. Then I've got my little pruners. Then I've got my big bypass pruners. Oh yeah. Um, I've just taken it off the tray. I feel like a surgeon <laughs> in like a surgery. Scalpel. That's all right. That's all good. All right, so I'm gonna actually use, not the bypass. I'm actually gonna use uh, these guys first up and I'm just gonna get rid of all of these insane outline branches that I know, I know aren't gonna make the final cut. So I don't even have to really check where I'm cutting them. These super long branches uh, with no taper and foliage only right at the tips, I already know. But I think we, you can plant dwarf chiflera's as cuttings, so. I will we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll look back to that. So those two big guys. Um, this one can go right back to there. See, a lot of the foliage is right on the ends of these really long outline branches. So I'm going to cut them all back. And I'm only going to leave foliage for now. On this lower, on these lower parts of the tree. Ooh, so many cuttings. Okay, so that's more manageable. Now I can like maneuver the tree a bit better, <laughs> rather than um, what it was like before. All right, let's take. A, let's do the same with the roots. We'll do the same with the roots. What we did with the top, just cut the roots off, the really, really long ones that twist around and around and around that we know are not going to make the final cut. We we'll just get rid of those straight up and then we can go into the finer root work. We will start with whatever this is. It's like, dude, it's like making a quadrilateral. It's, I just, I might even need my bypass pruners for these big boys. So just get rid of these kind of big chunky monkeys that are right down, right, right down. Um, nah. See, they're just winding around and around the pot. This is, Ones, take them off just to make it a little bit more manageable. And then, while we're down here, we may as well take off more. I'm not sure where the um, root, the line of the root base is going to, going to be, but I do know I want to show where I think I want to show where these two trunks join. I would like to show that above the soil, if I could, just to show that they're one big tree. So I wanna try and take the root base down to below that join point. So like around here. I don't know if that's achievable. Let me get my best shot. So if that's the case, I wanna kind of, um, where do I start? Let's just keep going on these bottom ones. Um, you gotta follow them back to their original source almost. It's pretty crazy stuff. That one's going right up. And sticking it, we stick it. Well, we could kind of direct it down. I could use it. This twisty thing. Oh, this guy can come off shorter and I'm trying to cut them 
trying to cut each root, even though I might take off more later, I'm trying to cut them off so they're horizontal to, or parallel to um, the, tr the, the, um, the pot, perpendicular to the pot, I guess, or parallel to the bottom of the pot. So new roots grow out of there. So I might just slowly work on these and see, work my way up this tangle just a bit at a time. I don't want to wash it. Just slowly flattening out the root base one part at a time. Otherwise, I might make a mistake. This root is going right down. So I'll just work my way up and work my way down until I meet a root base kind of in the middle, I guess is what I'm trying to do. So we should probably, s this root is really stiff and it's sticking right up out of the soil. So I definitely know that that one can come off. Bypass. Like that. I might have to tidy that cut up later. Oh, it has another root that wraps around there. So I've got my branch cutters just to clean up. Because I know this is going this this cut here is going to end up on the final tree. So um, let's see. I may as well clean it up as I go with my branch pruners. Now I'm trying to make a concave cut into the tree because usually when you make cuts like this, the tree will scab over eventually and grow over the cut in time. And if you make it concave, um, the tree has room to scab and then eventually it will, should remain, it should end up flush with the rest of the trunk but you know it doesn't have to be perfect sometimes those cut scars give the tree character so sometimes well most of the time I open, but that's a pretty good that's a pretty good cut there all right cut here don't need that guy Now that might be part of the root base, I don't know. I don't like this one that wraps along the front of this trunk, so I am gonna try and take that off. You know what, I want this to be clean in here. I'm taking this whole guard off. Oh, big cut, dude. Oh, look at this. That's where they join. Whoa, that's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, dude. I'm gonna try and clean it up. The good news is this hasn't been a bonsai for like 20, you know, its whole life. Um, I got it for free. So it's kind of cool to experiment with and do epic things with. You never epic things with. You never know. It might turn into a cool tree. Who knows? But for now, I'm just having fun, man. For this part, I've just grabbed the standing knife because I can't quite get the pruners in, so I'm just going to cut away. I haven't even worked out the front yet. It's gonna have to be one of these two. 